y'all, today um, I'm going to show you how to completely block all of the holes in your grazing muzzle. Um, some people might need to do this because your horse is like post-op or um, coming out of sedation and they're not able to eat something, anything or they're fasting for some reason or a lot of times like vets or farriers might need to block this off completely um, for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> usually it's a medical thing. We don't recommend just doing this for fun um, or because you think your horse needs to go on a diet. Um, most horses need forage 24-7. Um, to keep their digestive system moving healthfully. Um, however, there are some times when it is necessary. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. What you need is a pair of scissors, um, something that will write on plastic, like a Sharpie. Um, you're gonna need a grazing muzzle with an insert that fits in your grazing muzzle. Um, and you can see I have this mini sized one made of leather. Um, while I'm making this video, this product is not currently available, but it will be available soon. Um, so if you don't see that on our website, that's why, but keep an eye out because it will be available soon. So <clears throat> all you're gonna do is, um, oh, and I'm not sure if I mentioned a piece of plastic. So this is a cutting board actually. Um, from either Walmart or Amazon or someplace like that. They're really inexpensive. You can also find um, a folder that's like made of a really a thin plastic. You just want a plastic sheet that's pretty bendable. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop out your insert. Um, and if you don't have an insert yet, and this is something that you are gonna need to use often. I do recommend using the diet insert. Um, popping these inserts out can be a little challenging. I usually have a thick, but I'm not at the barn. Jeez. I've never had this much trouble getting an insert out. Hang on, I gotta get a tool kitchen knife, it's basically a hoof pick, right? Oh, gosh. All right, well, that was a little more challenging than I was anticipating. Okay, so you're gonna pop out your insert and um, just lay it on the plastic. I'm gonna put this right on the edge and um, you're just gonna trace your insert. Um, you actually want the piece of plastic to be a little smaller than the insert. So I'm gonna trace it with my Sharpie. Obviously, you don't need to trace the little tabs. Um, and it honestly does not have to be perfect, um, which is good. This is probably one of our easiest DIY projects. So that's my tracing right there. And you would do the same with the mini insert. Um, it's actually gonna be a somewhat similar size when it's not all <laughs> curved like this. This one's been inside this muzzle for a while. Um, and then you're just gonna cut it out. Um, I recommend cutting, um, I don't know, maybe an eighth to a quarter of an inch inside your line, just because you um, don't, if it's too big, it'll be challenging to fit everything in there. And you have quite a bit of leeway um, if it's a little smaller than the actual bottom of the muzzle. And like I said, you don't have to be perfect. Um, or it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect either. Um, and as you can see, mine is not perfect. It's actually pretty ugly. Um, but just to make sure that it's not too big anywhere, I'm gonna set it down in the bottom and make sure that it sits flat. What I don't want is for any of it to be coming up on the edges, because that will make it, or blocking any of the slots that the insert goes into, because that'll make it really hard. Um, the nice thing about this cutting board, I'm actually gonna trim a little bit here. Um, is that it actually has a tiny bit of silicone on the bottom uh, to keep it from slipping around, um, which I think will actually help keep it in place. But again, really any 
super thin plastic. Um, the other thing about the cutting board is I do know it, well, it should be food safe. So um, it's not going to, shouldn't leach any chemicals or anything bad um, into your horse's mouth if they end up like licking it a lot. So once you have that, um, all you have to do is pop the insert in over top of it. And for the mini, again, it would work exactly the same. You just follow the same instructions for putting uh, the mini insert back in. And again, I'm gonna need my kitchen knife to get this last slot in there. And it may be a little bit tighter, but just fine. Um, it's not quite in there. So yes, kitchen knife, hoof pick, they work the same and um, here we have it. The holes are completely blocked. Um, added bonus that it has a super fun color. And yeah, we are good to go. We've completely blocked these holes, um, which might be necessary for your horse um, for a time, depending on, um, yeah, what is going on. This is probably one of the easiest DIYs I have done. And yeah, send us your pictures and videos of you trying it and we would love to see it. At some point we might um, actually make our own things to slide in here, but for now this is super easy um, and inexpensive to do it this way. So um, yeah, good luck.